So now I'll be concluding today's discussion on antibiotics with the last group that is reserve group antibiotics. The complementary list includes cefidrocol. Cefidrocol. Okay, then we also use a combination of now reserve all of you know this is extremely rare. like we don't use it normally please don't use it in your clinical practice unless there is no other alternative available because these are we don't want bacterial resistance against these ones i hope i've made myself crystal clear like we really after this there is no this is the last resort which i have told you already in the definition what reserve group of antibiotics means Ceftolozine plus tazobactam. Now all these bactams, whatever antibiotic ends in the suffix bactam, it is a beta lactamase inhibitor. Okay. Then uh, after that you have colistin. You can just put numbers so that it becomes easy for you to remember. Then phosphomycin. Yeah, which group? Yeah, I, I know, I know. You all are brilliant students. Yeah, please do let me know. Okay, in the comment section. Great. Phosphomycin, colistin, phosphomycin, linezolid. Yeah, this makes a line in the thrombocyte. So thrombocytopenia or thrombocytosis. What is the side effect of linezolid we are really afraid of? Yeah, do let me know in the comment section. Okay, if we want a therapeutic alternative, it can be tedizolid. But then again, these all are strictly reserved. Okay, uh, the drug of choice for MRSA or methicillin resistance, vancomycin is vancomycin, right? Drug of choice for methicillin resistance, staph aureus is vancomycin. And drug of choice for versa, yeah, absolutely correct. Absolutely correct for drug of choice for versa is linezolid. Yeah, just a revision for USMD PLAB exams. Okay, then tedizolid phosphate. Tedizolid phosphate. Yeah. Then talking about uh, the drugs after that, we come on to number seven. In number seven, we have uh, linezolid, phosphomycin. Uh, we have uh, meropenem. Meropenem is basically a carbapenem. Again, these are really, really meaning we are scared to use them, but we have to use them in the case of extreme resistance, vaporbactam. Okay, all these are the newer beta lactamase inhibitors. Then uh, after that, the other drug we have the name is plazomycin. Plazomycin. Uh, so concluding this with the last drug name, which is polymyxin B. Yeah, do let me know the mechanism of action in the YouTube comment section. I have explained each of them in depth in my YouTube lecture videos. Please have a look at them. And if you like them, please do let me know. Okay, bye.